so nice. Hello everyone, my name is Jill and welcome to my channel. I will give you one guess why I haven't uploaded in the last two weeks. Any takers? I shouldn't, I shouldn't let her do this. I shouldn't, I just shouldn't. End stop, full stop, I should not let her do this. So I'm gonna get her off the counter. Don't look at me like that. Don't, just don't. If you're not new to my channel, I am sure that this is not the video that you are expecting or it's not the video that you want. You probably want an update on my gold laser Cordoras that got shipped to me that I ended up not being very happy with. And if you didn't watch that video, go and check that out. I'll leave a little, little, little up there. <laughs> Um, a lot has happened in the last two weeks and I was gonna upload a video a week ago explaining to you guys everything that's been going on, good and bad, but the video ended up being literally, literally like 25 minutes long and that was just like entirely me like talking and I thought that would be too boring for you guys to listen to. So I'm gonna try my hardest to push out as many videos as possible to give you guys like little tiny updates instead of like a super duper long like video of me rambling. I'm sure nobody wants to watch that, so. And last but not least, um, before we get into what this video is actually about, I just want to give everybody that subscribed to me in the last two weeks a huge thank you. We jumped from 100 subscribers to 130 subscribers, 135 subscribers, I'm not sure, but that's like huge. I just genuinely want to give you guys a huge thank you because it does motivate me to do more videos like this or more videos in general, actually. Okay, now to the video. This video is about hatching brine shrimp. They're little, little tiny shrimp that your fish absolutely love. It is pretty enriching to give your fish live foods every once in a while. If you can't do that, that's totally fine. I honestly never gave my fish live food until like a month ago when I first started hatching brine shrimp. But honestly, you can tell the difference with your fish. Your fish will seriously go wild for these things. And if you haven't hatched brine shrimp before, then I would recommend that you at least give it a little bit of a try and try to look past the fact that they're sea monkeys and your childhood is not happy with you. <laughs> now, brine shrimp are a little bit expensive. I can buy my brine shrimp for, I think it's 50 grams for $40 at my local fish store. Um, and that is a little bit expensive, but if you don't have a lot of fish that can really go a long way, I would especially recommend brine shrimp if you have fry because live foods, they are the best diet for young fish. They're small enough for young fish to eat easily. The fish will grow very fast eating them. So all you will need to hatch brine shrimp is a water bottle. It does not have to be a liter. It can be a little tiny Sprite bottle I was using for a really, really long time. You just watch this video and you proportion it correctly to the you know size bottle that you have. You want scissors or a scalpel. You want brine shrimp eggs, obviously. You don't have to go to the aquarium to buy any fancy salt. You can just go to your local grocery store, buy some table salt, buy some sea salt, um, but keep in mind that there is salt that is not appropriate for this. And I'll put the name of the salt. I forgot exactly what it's called, but I'll just put the name on the screen now. Freshly distilled spring water. The most expensive water that you, I'm just kidding. You just need tap water, okay? You don't even have to dechlorinate it. Just use regular warm tap water. Tubing, like the kind of tubing that you use for a bubbler in your fish tank, like the um, you know flexible tubing, or you can use the tubing that isn't flexible, but it's the same kind of tubing. You're also going to want to have a light source, some sort of light source. I'll show you what my setup is. It's pretty simple. Um, but yeah, let's get to it, you guys. The reason that I want to cut mine right down the middle is because we're going to sit our bottle in the base of the other half of the bottle. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are like following me. 
<laughs> Hopefully these visuals will help you out. Now I am going to put in my brine shrimp eggs. So don't make the same mistake that I've made before. Make a little bit at first and then work your way up to the amount that you like think that you need. The first time that I made eggs, I put like a half a teaspoon in and that was like way too many brine shrimp for me to like know what to do with. Um, so yeah, just make a little tiny bit and work your way up. This is a half a tablespoon right here, and I'm just using a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit. So let's pour it in. All right. Okay, you guys, it's been two days since I recorded the first part of this video. And as you can see, the water in my little contraption has turned orange. It was clear before, I don't know if you remember, but it was clear. And what that means is that the eggs have hatched, at least most of them. But what we're gonna do now is the best part. We are going to feed my Cordoris fry. Um, and I'll show you guys how to do that. Okay, so all you need basically is, um, you know, a pipette, little pipette, or like even a straw. If you do use straws, consider using a metal straw to save the ocean. Now that the brine shrimp are mostly settled, you can see that right up here, these are the eggshells. So you don't wanna collect these because they will have a hard time being digested in your fry's stomachs. You're gonna put your finger over one end of the straw, put the straw into your little contraption, and then let go. Put your finger back over the top and then pull back up. And you should, you know, mostly only be collecting brine shrimp. I hope I helped you guys out in, you know, maybe convincing you to try hatching brine shrimp and feeding your fish brine shrimp. It is pretty fun to do. And just one last tip before you guys go, if you are going to feed your fry brine shrimp and you want to give them a diet, you know, mostly brine shrimp, then I would recommend that you have more than one of these contraptions just so it's easier to you know to trade out days doing that stay tuned you guys i'm gonna be uploading um more videos soon and yeah thank you for watching <laughs>